Um, I'm actually quite distant from you guys. Can I take? Can I have your permission to take off my mask? Yes. So that you can hear me. Yeah. I don't know, I need to speak like this. <laughs> okay. Welcome to everybody that's here. Um. Yeah. Shocking to me how many people is not here. Guys, we're going overseas. Your children. Okay. The reason why I called this meeting was. The reason why I called this meeting was, guys, we've traveled now in COVID. It's way worse with procedures and stuff like that. Way more responsibility, not just on us, but on the students itself. And if I look at the turnout, that means that they're not taking it seriously. Guys, from the academy side, when we had the meeting in November, when we gave you guys the option to travel and stuff like that, we all said it's fine, we'll wait and see what happens. COVID, guys, I don't think it's going to sort of go over quickly, okay? As long as we are safe and healthy, uh, safe and responsible, um, nothing should happen. Guys, so what I've asked was um, that you guys do realize that we are also people, we have families, and we need to look after each and every one. So if we go overseas and the students don't listen to us, me, Norman, any of our staff, TPTT Academy, any airlines, anybody does not take responsibility for their negligence. There's negligence already because they are not here, some of the people. And I thank you guys for doing the effort and for making the effort to come and listen to us today because it's your child's safetyness, if I can call it like that. It's not just the normal Jobbik Durban flight. Okay. Guys, it's rushed. Lots of procedures. As you guys know already, COVID's been here for a year and a half now. Temperatures, forms, the whole thing. So the procedures is longer than what it normally used to be. Okay. So I've given you guys paperwork and stuff like that. We're going to go through it. Okay. But in between, I'm going to speak to you guys. I have not printed everything because if I do, I'm going to destroy a whole forest. Okay, that's why you've got WhatsApp. You guys need to also look at your WhatsApps. All right. So with the um, traveling and stuff like that, I said to you guys that we are flying on the 10th of July. Okay. But guys, our trip is going to have to start earlier than that. Because we have PCR tests to do. A PCR test, um, I found a company that will send the nurse for our group. So we have to be... At a hotel in Kempton Park on the 9th of July we have to be there at 8 o'clock already in the morning the nurse is coming at 9 okay because the following day our flight leaves at 1350 minus four hours from that of check-in that's 950 so it literally gives the nurse a half an hour to go through 26 people 25 people Okay, they still need to travel from Kempton Park back to the, the, the lab in Santon to process our um, results. Yep. If we do not have that results on the morning that we have to go to the airport, you cannot travel. So if you are not there at 8 o'clock for us to go through the procedures, because there's forms and forms and forms we have to fill in that day before the nurse comes. If you are not there... The PCR is not done. The nurse cannot wait for you. She's got the whole of Kauteng to look after as well. Okay, that's why I had to book her well in advance to make sure that she's dedicated to our group to come and do those tests. Guys, I can't let you guys do the test on your own and stuff like that because we're a group. We want the same results. Your, if you go to separate places, Springs is different to Santon, is different to um, Pretoria and stuff like that. If you guys miss that PCR test by one minute, if you go, uh, you know, a bit ahead of time and stuff like that, we cannot get onto the planes. Guys, Norman and I, we flew to Zanzibar the other day just to go and do an educational for ourselves because we've never been there. We, we need to know your safety. We couldn't get on the plane because our PCR test was invalid. We had to go a day later. 
Do you guys understand the cost implications? Not to us, to you. Changing of flights, hotels, and stuff like that. So it is fun. We're going to have nice fun and everything like that. But guys, before we get to that, we have to go through seriousness. And the reason why I asked the parents here is, guys, they are adults now. They need to take responsibility, but I want you guys to know that financially it could cost you everything if you guys don't listen to us. Okay, group of people, we will be two people, that's why out of 25 people, two of us goes with, so that we've got a split. You a little group, you a little group, not just one for a big group, because somewhere along the line someone doesn't listen. Someone talks to a buddy and then both of those buddies are out. And I'm going to ask, it's not one of these people's responsibility that's sitting here to cover and help the others. If you are not here, I'm, I'm getting to that point where I'm sorry for you now. Okay, you guys make the effort to be here. Which I thank you. And the travel industry thanks you. Okay. This is the people that will be somewhere in life. I'm sorry, I'm saying it as it is. Might sound crude and rude and stuff like that, but I can't do this anymore with people that wants everything but doesn't pitch up just for a small meeting. Okay, we can do just so much. Guys, so with that, in keeping safe and stuff like that, I don't know, yes. Sorry for this uh, is the hotel just going to be the venue? We will test our time. We have to sleep there. Uh, I want to yeah, confirm yeah, it so okay. we know what the... Yeah, yeah. The, so, the yeah. Going. With that, I'm going to go through the itinerary now. Now, I just wanted Sorry, to I say it's going to start to earlier. It's cool. Yeah. When we go through the documents that you guys have got in your packs, we're going to go through it page by page. Okay? Um, so, you guys can get out your piece of paper or your pack. Right in the front, guys, I gave you guys um, some info. So, we don't have the vaccine yet. It's not available for your generations, us, <laughs> us as teachers. As soon. <laughs> not, not yet. Okay. I'm not complaining. So, um, guys, just for future, if you are going into travel and stuff like that, it's going to be a compulsory mandatory thing. So, if you decided not to take the vaccine, you're not going to be in this industry. Okay, so for us to keep safe, guys, it's been in the news, it's not a prevention and stuff like that, guys, but there's a product called Ivermectin. Okay, so Norman and I, everybody, even the gardener, has been injected, we drink the Ivermectin. You get it in a pill form, you get it in a liquid form. Guys, please, just for prevention, I'm not saying it's going to cure it, but it, it, it kills parasites and stuff. You know, the tiny from the plast and everything will tell you. It kills parasites, okay? And the virus is a parasite. It's got parasites, you know, things in it. So if I can suggest, I'm not saying I'm not forcing anybody to do it. We have, because I want to go to Maldives. I want you guys to go to Maldives. So... You can either, um, hold on two seconds. Huskies. So you can either get the syrup, okay, it's at the corporation, um, okay. It's a liquid. People say you can um, smear it on your body. I just wanted to go directly to my bloodstream. So I'm drinking it and I'm still standing up today for you guys. So you can drink it. You can get pills that I recommend at the pharmacy. It is more, it's, it's, it's quite expensive. So this one is Idexis. And this at a pharmacy you have to get on prescription. It's about 180 Rand for 10 pills. You drink two pills a week, you know, each week. So we've started now already three weeks before the time so that it's in our blood system. Okay. We have a guy that works for his pharmaceutical company. 
That's also got the Ivo Max Pilikis. Um, it's 10 pills, but that's a bit more expensive, but it's very similar to the liquid. That is 300 Rand. Okay. So if you guys are wanting to do that for precaution wise and stuff, I suggest you do that. We've given you information from the South African government, SAFRA, and everything that did tasting on it. And they said that it was good for um, human consumption. Okay. So guys, it's your choice. I'm not saying you have to do it. I just want to see you guys on a plane. Okay. So if you are wanting to know about it and stuff like that, speak to us afterwards and then we can give you send you pictures and all of the things. All right. The next set of pills you have to get in there, you don't need to have any prescriptions and stuff. Motion sickness pills. Okay. We're going to fly. Some people haven't flown for 10 hours straight. We're going to be on boats. Ways. Okay, motion sickness, guys. Stugeron, it's about 80 bucks at the pharmacy. Flip. I'll send it through Let's to you guys it. as well. All right? But you need to take this. Take it from me. You will get sick. We went to Zanzibar. We went on a nice boat trip and stuff like that. Everybody was lying on the floor because they couldn't handle the motion of the ocean. Okay. And the boat is not a cruise ship. I think the boat was from that pole to that pole. <laughs> so it's small. All right. You're going to feel the waves. Okay. So the first page is information for you guys on ivermectin. Then the second page. Where is my second page now? Sorry. When we come to travel insurance, guys, your trip has been insured, okay? But when we when we put up or set up the tour, it was for you guys to to go to Europe and all of those things. So in the beginning, the costing of the travel insurance was for medical purposes, because not everybody has a medical aid. Not everybody has covered to travel overseas. So the travel insurance that we have, or that we you know, took out for you guys from um, the group package um, size, was for medical insurance. This cover that we have for you does not cover, should you po test positive over there and have to be quarantined. If you're positive, you need to quarantine and that is at your own cost. You've got to quarantine for 10 days. The quarantine hotel is 1,500 Rand a night. Times by 11, say 10 nights, make it 11 just in case. Okay, lots of money, ne? So guys, there is a travel insurance company, um, Hollard Travel Insurance. I've given you guys the forms. Again, it's your choice if you want to take it out or not. Remember that we're going to the ivermectin thing, but that's not 100% guarantee. Okay, so it's your choice if you want to take it. I've got, I put the email address on there for you guys. I gave you what they cover. So with the cover, you get extra medical cover if you are hospitalized. But they will cover if you test positive to put you up in a hotel for the 10 days with your food and stuff like that. Okay, so I went through the, the dates and everything like that. You guys need to remember that you're going back and forth, going on one trip, coming back to Java for 24 hours and leaving again. So when you do this, you can't do the whole period. Okay, it's just going to cost you a lot more. You have to break it. So when you put it in into the system, you put it on the date that we leave, not the 9th, but the 10th, the date we get onto the plane, the date we arrive back on the 20th, you stop. Okay, that's 11 days. The next one is Zanzibar. There we leave on the 21st and to the 29th. Okay, I'll come back to Zanzibar now. It's been a, a hell of a nightmarish week for me. So when you do that, guys, 
it's your choice, okay? Just remember that we as the academy, we will not be responsible for that. Okay. So go through those forms. If you guys, we're going to talk and, and stuff later. I'm, I'm not going to upset the most important thing. Once we, we adjourn here, yeah, you guys can then stay, stay behind and ask questions and stuff. Or, you know, if we don't do it in a group form. Okay. So, the next one that I need you to look at and listen, where it says check baggage. Okay. Guys, we are flying with Qatar Airways. It's not a direct flight to, to um, Maldives. So we're flying eight and a half hours over to Doha, two and a half hours at the airport, climbing over, going through, running from one terminal to another. Maybe a flight is delayed. Let, literally, we have to maybe run. Okay, so you guys need to start jogging around the pool or something just to build up your lung capacity. All right? Because don't ever say never. Ask Zandali. The one time we flew with... Um, an airline literally there was 45 minutes for us to connect and have you guys been to our tambo okay so you know that domestic is far from international so times that by three for Doha airport running we have to get sometimes on the train between the terminals all right so if you're walking like this i am going to leave you behind we are not going to run after you guys we know where we are going guys you need to keep up with us okay again you need to keep up with us because somewhere along the line ask all of them that's traveled bags because they didn't listen to what we said put in you know deodorant and stuff in our bags and then they confiscate it and then i cry because now i lost my deodorant no so listen to this so check bags guys, the airline will allow us two big bags each. But I'm saying to you now, don't do two big bags. Because you have to carry your own bags. If I can just imagine the, when you guys checked in here at the house, with all your nonsense, how you battle. Okay, so one big bag, you cannot have more than 23 kilograms in that bag. They're going to force you and make you to pack it out and just give it to your parents or leave it. Okay, 23 kilos is the max. Now remember, you guys are going out there, you might want to buy a souvenir or something. Everything that you buy extra adds to the weight. Ne? Okay. So please, and also for when we travel from Maldives Airport to the island, you know Maldives is a small island. So we have to get on a speed boat, travel four hours on a boat from the airport island to the island where we are going to stay. So hence the motion sickness rules. Okay. The, the boat can also take only so much capacity of people and bags. So if we have too many bags, there won't be place for people. All right. So please guys, Listen to that. You are allowed um, a rucksack, a rucksack, okay, backpack. That backpack uh, cannot weigh more than seven kilograms. Only seven. They're gonna weigh it. The airlines are getting into the thing now where they're gonna, gonna weigh us as persons as well. Luckily, it's not yet, but they're gonna start. Okay. So, guys, in your backpack, please do not pack your whole toiletry pack your shampoos your lotions your hairspray your toothpaste anything like that Cologne, if it's over if it's a if it's over a hundred mils you're gonna have to leave it behind people say always oh but i, I didn't know about it we always give this in all the meetings we say this okay they're gonna take it. Don't put yogurt or milk, anything liquid that you want to save for later in that bag. So if we're on the plane, 
and they give you an apple. Don't take it. Don't leave it in your bag. Okay, because when we get to the country of um, our origin, they have rules and regulations of things that you can take in. So, why am I saying this to you? Because Vanessa did it. I paid $200 for an apple. Why? Okay. I had pregnancy brain. That was my excuse. And they didn't listen to me. But yeah. So an apple cost me a thousand bucks. Don't do it. You can have sweets. Chippies. No bolt on. Anything meat wise. As long as it's not a, a live, like a, an apple, it's got pits that's live. Um, so dried fruit, you can pack in. You can pack it in your big bag, you can pack it in your, your shoulder bag. Okay. Yeah, also no liquids, don't leave liquids Very, well. very important guys, no waters. We will get water on the plane. Okay. So you guys can't go through security with any liquids over 100, 100 mils. Okay. If you do, um, nice at this game, they've got this travel pack. It's a see-through pack with little bottles in it, small like this. So if you feel that, oh, I need to wash my hair in the plane, <laughs> you can pack, you know, shampoo. Okay. Deodorant. Hand sanitizer. You know those small, take yourself ones of those. The small, small ones. Keep it with you. Because again, we're going throughout the world. We don't know where they get their things. Okay, so pack extra masks, all right? So once we are going to quarantine, basically we're going to isolate ourselves one day. That's the morning when you drop them off at the hotel at 8 o'clock, okay? They're not going to go outside to the shops and stuff like that. We have to stay there and we'll order food in so that we can quarantine ourselves to keep ourselves safe for when the test comes back. And when we go to the airport, we all move together to the airport. Always masks on, even on the plane. Guys, I know it's frustrating. If you just need to take a breather, walk to the bathroom and just don't take it off and sit there for five minutes and say you have a poo or something. I don't know. <laughs> just to have a breather. But they will find you guys if they find you without your mask on the plane. Okay. It should be an, an everyday thing now that you guys should be used to. I prefer the masks when we're in close spaces, okay? Because people are, you know, not very hygienic. Okay. So please make sure one big bag. And remember the bag, you need to carry it, guys. There's not going to be men or porters or stuff like that to do it for you. If there are, you need to know you're going to have to pay them a service fee. They're doing you a service. Okay. So make sure you pack light. We're going to two places, guys. It's summer now there. So we don't need all this luggage that we are on, that we have. Just make sure you've got your, your um, a nice thick jacket for when we go to the hotel that um, one night. Your pajamas and stuff like that. And pack shorts, t-shirts, rookies, you know, sundresses, costumes, lots of costumes. Because we're going to swim a lot. Sunscreen, please. Sunscreen, it's expensive guys. Buy, buy sunscreen, yeah. Okay. And it's very hot. Very hot and humid. So if you guys travel to Durban in the heat of summer, yeah, by us. Times it by three. Okay. So you don't need to take any hair straighteners. Those that's got long hair, gonna go up. <laughs> Short hair, sorry, you're gonna, it's gonna be full of sea sand and sea salt and everything like that anyways every day. All right, we've got tours that we're gonna do. Um, so yeah, just enjoy it, okay. I've given you guys um, personal items of what not to put in, uh, or what you can pack into your backpack, okay. You can go through that at your own space. If you turn the page around, we call it LAGS. That's the aerosols, liquids, and gels and stuff. Okay, so you can take anything over with you guys. Okay, just make sure it's in your checked baggage, the one that we put into the hole. If you need to take the scissors in the hole, nail, um, nail clippers, 
Um, I don't think anybody of you guys do needlework, but if you do, don't do it on the plane. You can do it on the plane. Okay, because they think that is an, a sharp object and it, it can kill somebody. So make sure, guys, when you pack your, pack, your backpack, it doesn't have any sharp stuff in it. Lighters if you are smoking. Sorry for you, you're not going to smoke until we get to, to, um, to Maldives. Okay, because no lighters are allowed there. Bless you. Um, make sure when you when you pack. Do a video call thing in while you are packing and just send it to us and, you know if you if you're not sure. Alright. Cool. It speaks here about duty free, guys. Duty free isn't always cheap. Alright, so if you decide that your parent wants a uh, What's, what, what do you buy at duty free? Liquor. Liquor and cigarettes and stuff? The it's a lot more well. expensive yeah. over there. biscuits, all international stuff, yeah. Okay, if I can just give you guys an idea, take sweets and crisps and stuff from here. We're going to an island. The shops there are small. They eat things there that we're not used to. And then you pay in dollars, US dollars. Which is 14 rand to the 14 rand to the one dollar today okay yeah so please take it with you can take it with just not anything as i mentioned fresh fruits meats and stuff like that um omar biscuits um two minute noodles but i don't know where you're going to make the noodles you know <laughs> we're staying in a hotel that is all inclusive which means breakfast lunch and dinner all your drinks are included okay they give you bottled water and stuff like that. I don't like to drink their bottled water because it comes out of a can. You know those machine thingies? I don't know how hygienically they are. So I always buy bot bottled water and you do pay for it. Okay. So just be aware of that. I have a better solution. So the moment you leave the country, I only drink beer. <laughs> no water. Exactly. And it's paid for. So yeah. just, to just touch on the parking while you're there. Um, yes. Don't rely on credit cards. We've been there. Yeah. You must stand here. We've been to we've, we've been to seven ATMs in Zanzibar. No cash. They don't have money around. So take dollars from here. Take dollars from here. Don't you're not going to be able to exchange there. They don't you, take South African they don't rand. South African rand. They do take. If you're lucky, they'll maybe take euro, but dollar is the thing, so they take dollar. So don't rely on you're going to withdraw money there, or you're going to swipe your card in the little shops. Most of the shops doesn't have um, card, card facilities. Machines. facilities. So fortunately, um, especially Zanzibar, cash, cash is key. Yeah. Okay, dollars, US dollars. Yeah. Okay, that's why we went through the whole process of going to go and see what it was like. We went with zero cash on us. Just to, for an exercise, okay, just with cards. We had to pay 5% extra on every purchase that we did, okay? And then, like Norman said, we went in one day, we spent like four hours driving around just looking for ATMs to have to, to draw cash. 70 euros, just over 900 bucks looking for ATMs. Okay, so if you no don't want to go through that hassle and stuff like that, take cash with you guys. So when I'm saying about the cash and the dollars and stuff, guys, you don't really need it, okay? Because all your food and everything is already included. But, you know, sometimes you want to buy a souvenir like a seashell or a, I don't know what that says, Zanzibar, or whatever. <laughs> a t-shirt it's, it's up to you guys, okay? Um, they, I know there are people, and that's why we've tried to include the PCR test and everything as much as we could um, in the costings of the tour and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, it's just a suggestion. The only thing that I want you guys that you need to have to have on you is this week, Tanzania has just gone crazy. Um, and they're charging $25, even though we're doing a PCR test, they are testing every single person when they arrive at the airport, okay? It might not be, it didn't happen to us. I just think maybe it's, they feel like it. But make sure you have $25 on you because they charge $25 for that antigen test. Okay, 
we can't pay it, we've already done the PCR test. So just have it on you, if they do it, fine, you bargain for it, if not, then they're extra, is your spending money. Okay, I just need you guys to be aware that they might ask us to do the antigen test there as well. Okay, cool. Do I have any questions on the luggage? Sir, you wanted to ask the question? Okay. okay, so going through that. Then, if you guys go, you'll see we've given you your air ticket on Qatar Airways. Okay, so if you do decide to buy dollars, okay, you need to buy, have a passport. You need to give your air ticket as proof that you're going somewhere. And also, um, mom and dad needs to give you a proof of residence. So if you are going to go to your bank, I would rather go to the airport. It's easier. But please don't rely on getting the money if you are going to change on the day that we have to leave. Okay. Try and do it a day or two before, if you can. All right. Or when you guys drop them off at the hotel at 8 o'clock, go to the airport at 6. Go change the money then on that night. Okay, try and do it before because we, it's going to be crazy running around and stuff like that on the tent. We won't have time to do that. Yeah. If you don't want to go to the airport, some malls does have foreign exchanges as well. It's normally by the banking area. There's little foreign exchanges. Also use them. But it's important to have a proof of residence. Otherwise, okay. they're not going to help you. Proof of residence, your air ticket and your passport. And your passport. Okay. And make sure it's dollars. And get small denominations. Don't get 50s, 50s, 50s. Okay, guys? Because we just said now they might charge 25. So now we get a 50, and then, oh, I don't have no change. You lose 50, up 25. So make sure if you are going to ask for money and changing money and stuff like that, that they give you 10s, 20s, and 10s, uh, and 5s. Five. Okay, if you are going to do that. So your Qatar Airways ticket is there. Um, we leave here on the 10th, 1350, as I said. All right, the next air ticket that we give is Zanzibar. Okay, there we fly with Ethiopian Airlines. So as I said to you before, we fly on the 10th, we arrive back on the 20th, we stay at the same hotel, and there you guys, you're not gonna see your kids, you're not gonna come visit, you don't need to take them to the hotel. We have a shuttle that's taking us from the airport back to the same place where the same nurse is going to come again and do the test. So, so in our tour, we're doing four PCR tests. Okay. One in Joburg, one in Maldives. One in Joburg, one in Zanzibar. Okay. And those are all paid for. Yeah. Okay. So the only thing extra if you guys are wanting, which is optional extra, is that quarantine travel insurance. Um, and then that you've got a budget for is this $25. It's about 400 rand. Okay. Just to put that aside, just in case. It's not happening at the moment, but it, they might change. It changes every... Okay, I'm on the travel group days. where people, you know, travel agents and stuff talk. This client, got, you know, they fly on the same plane. They were tested and these people weren't. So I'm just warning you guys, it might happen. Okay. Out of the group, they might ask five of us and the rest go. We don't know what they look for. All right. So, Zanzibar. Guys, in the original message, I, I said to you guys that Zanzibar, we're going on the 21st and we land back on the 30th. Okay. This week has been a nightmare. Ethiopian Airlines have had a schedule change. So, they're not flying on the 29th at all. They booked the kids to come back on the uh, 1st of August. So, because they are advising us so far in advance, um, for me, it was a lot of money for you guys to pay in because the airline had a schedule change. It would have been three and a half thousand rand just for two nights extra. Okay, so I made the call and I, we're bringing you back the, the day before. Okay, so I can still go and change it, but then, shoots man, but then it was three and a half thousand rand more, which I don't think you know, is right. I went through to the travel insurance company and stuff like that, and they unfortunately don't cover for an interruption of stay if, before we have gone. 
if it happened while we were in Zanzibar and they would have told us, okay, now we have to stay later, then the insurance company would have paid for us to be set up. But they're giving us a month's notice. So that one is out the door. So I made the call and we're coming home a day earlier. Okay. If you guys disagree with that, we can still change it. You must, this is now where you guys must tell me what you want to do. Okay. I just didn't want to lose flights and stuff like that and everybody be stranded. Okay. So that means we've booked you guys back, the airlines um, with a schedule change, to leave there on the 28th to arrive here on the 29th, but still 4 o'clock in the morning. Still the same flight as, as what it would have been if you had left on the 29th. Okay. So you guys must then just speak to us. And about that's when they see their parents again on the 29th. 29th. Okay. That's when you guys... And again, I'm just saying that the flight arrives at 4. You don't need to stand and wait there at 4. We still need to go through customs, collect our bags and stuff like that. The airport is busy. So even if you only, can only get there at 6 or 7, that's fine. All right? I'm not saying, I'm just advising that's the time the flight arrives. Okay. Cool. So, what I did was, to confirm with you guys, I, I put the email down that I had in, in, in conversation with Ethiopian Airlines about the whole schedule change and stuff like that. And then also a printout that I circled, might mean nothing to you guys, but I just wanted to show from, from our side that it wasn't us that did the changes. It was Ethiopian Airlines. So if you want, we can just show you what it means for these codes and stuff like that. All right. So it wasn't a voluntary change from our side. Okay. Then the next thing I have to... Oh, wait. Where is the hotel papers? Just the accommodation page. Huh? Yeah. So by the air tickets before that, guys, the tour accommodation, I put you... I've given you guys the places where we stay in Joburg, their telephone number and their address. Where we stay in Maldives, telephone number, address. Back in Joburg the one night, telephone number, address. And then in Zanzibar, telephone number and address. Okay, so guys, please know that your WhatsApp is not going to work if you're not inside the hotel's reception area. They don't have big twirlings and stuff like that, satellite dishes for WhatsApp. So parents, please be aware that you're not going to be or get hold of them while we're in the middle of the sea and stuff like that. Okay, so we will give you guys updates on the group as we go every day from Norman and outside. Who's safe and, 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 and progress. But you guys just need to know you're not going to be online with boyfriends and girlfriends and stuff like that. Okay. Yes, please don't don't activate your roaming. We have roaming, so all of us will have roaming. All four of us. So if there's something that we don't have Wi-Fi, so yeah. Ah, my Hannah, Cora, 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 Okay, so guys, yes, um, please disable your roaming. I don't want you guys, you're going to be away for 80 days. Roaming, it cost me the other day two and a half thousand rand just for two days. Okay, two and a half. I don't think you guys want to come home with an 18,000 rand worth of cell phone bill. Even though you're prepaid. They can still charge you. Ne? So disable everything. Okay. So there's the accommodations and stuff like that for you. Okay, then last but not least. Bright travel insurance certificates. You guys will see you've got two packs of these. It's because of the break when we come back to Joburg. Okay, so you'll see your insurance is for group, the names of the people, the date that the insurance starts, the date that this one ends. Then the next policy is a different policy number on the date it starts, the date it ends. Okay, so the travel insurance that we took out was 
for you guys to arrive back on the 30th. So if by chance and we get there and we're in Zanzibar and they decide, oh, day extra, whatever, again, you are still covered. All right, cool. So with Zanzibar, me and Norman are going with you guys to Maldives. Ayanda and Zandali is going to come take over, okay, so that they go with them to Zanzibar. Okay. Yeah, so when we get back to the lodge in Johannesburg, we'll just do a staff switch, we'll be there and then you guys will travel the next day, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're doing the first one so that we can already show you guys the guidelines and stuff like that of what to do and what not to do. All right, cool. They have traveled the force, so they also know what's happening and everything like that. Um, so don't don't be scared that it's <laughs> nobody gonna leave you guys. <laughs> All right, cool. So travel insurance, I need to just go through if you um, want to go through it. As I said to you guys, it's more for medical expenses. Medical expenses, this insurance cover will cover us for COVID should we be hospitalized, but they don't cover the quarantine. Okay, so if we do get COVID and we have to be admitted to hospital, they will take it. Okay, they just won't set us up in hospitals and stuff like that. All right, so it's for medical. The main purpose of the, the travel insurance, it's not for bags or anything like that. It is for travel insurance. Oh, it's for medical. Because it's dollars, hospitals don't take a lot of people and all of those things. We don't want to sit with the bills of 100,000 rand comes out of the medical insurance okay so guys we are going to an, a sea area that has got sea life okay so either we're tackies in the water or those jelly shoes or you get shoes at mr price get them at mr price they no, i think they say 99 bucks it's like a rubber shoe with rubber Almost like a, what do you call it? It's like a rock It's a rock shoe. climbing shoe, yeah. sort of. But okay? they're quite expensive. But it's got rubber price. underneath it. Why am I saying this, guys? Even though it's clear blue water, the sand is white and stuff like that. There are things that you don't know of, of the sea. <laughs> and when you walk, there are fishes and stuff that looks like rocks. If you step onto that rock, it's a fish and it shoots out needles that is poison. So if you step on it with your bare foot, you are going to go to hospital. Allergic reaction, yeah. Okay. I don't want to scare you guys, but it can happen. So as a precaution, even, you know, flip flops if you have, but just make sure, you know, it is slippery. You need something that will hold your foot together. That if you walk, I did it and I nearly fell my thingy off. Okay. <laughs> on a jetty. Because the water goes over it and it's slippery and it's slimy and all of those things for your sake. Okay, just a warning. Don't have to do it if you don't want to. It's up to you guys. Okay, we are going to snorkel. We are going to swim with stingrays. We are going to see fishes that comes up to you. Sea urchins. <laughs> and sea urchins. I'll, you know, we'll, I'll, Put it in your hand. They scared of it, but go. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to do assignments over there. So, even though we are traveling and it's going to be fun and stuff like that, it's going to be more laid back in Maldives because we've got more time there than what would be in Zanzibar. There, we've got tours, 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 tours. But it's okay. exciting. We've done those tours, and I can guarantee you guys, you can have a lot of fun. There really, are mosquitoes, so really take mosquito fun. repellent. Okay. Um, we are going to go into a forest where there's bugs. But also, guys, try and share. If you've got a buddy that you're going to travel with, make an arrangement. Uh, you take the mosquito spray, I'll take the allergex. You take this, I'll take that. Don't try and take everything yourself. You're going to come back with it, not using it, probably. Yeah. So try and share yeah. If, you can, yeah. if you can. And yeah. again, from a school site, no hotel, no company, no airline, no nobody. We're not allowed. We're not allowed to give you guys medicine. medication. Okay. So if you know that you have a runny tummy take stuff for it yes. if you know that you've got constipation take remember something. you're going to be away for 20 days <laughs> take stuff to for it to run otherwise we'll drink seawater yeah. okay 
but you guys need to look at that. Norman just said now, if I have an allerg uh, allergic reaction because of maybe the spray that they have in the, in the aircraft, take allergics with you. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, name a few things. So I think the few things they need to consider is obviously the ivermectin, if it's personal choice, I would probably go for the tablets because it's easier. <coughs> then allergix, or if you don't want to take allergics, maybe something else like an like alicet or antihistamine. So you should we get sting by something, even even a bee should be able to help you. Um, then mosquito spray, sunscreen, and sunglasses, and, hats, and headache pills, maybe headache pills, and and that's it. Okay, you don't need to take a whole lot if you no. are on other medications and stuff like that guys if you are on yeah, prescription remember. prescription medications that you have to take in in the evening and stuff like that you need to make sure that it is in you don't need a doctor's letter no. you just need to make sure that it's in its original packaging okay not in like a little tinny thingy that mom gave me or, or something like that original packaging that if customs do stop you or security that they can go onto the computer to see what it is, you know, drug-wise yeah. and, and all of those things. If you do have a copy of the uh, script, great, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. But if you do have a copy, it's always best to travel with a copy, okay? If you are on, if you are a diabetes and you need injection, then you need to have a doctor's prescription. Yeah, you need a script. Like just a copy of the script, it. that's all. Yeah, just a copy. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. Uh, you guys can go through all of these things, the medical insurance, on your own. I just wanted to point out the most important was the coverage that you guys get for the period when we go to either Maldives or to Zanzibar. You guys are covered for 25 million rand worth of medical cover. Okay, that's a lot. If you divide it by dollars and, and everything like that, it's a lot of cover. Okay, so um, that's the main thing to look out for. If I can give you um, just a guideline in your backpack just pack one pair of undies one pair of shorts and a t-shirt maybe and flip-flops that in case the airline loses your bag and they need to get it to you at a later stage you at least have clean stuff with you for the one day all right so it will be the airport or the airline's responsibility should they lose your bag to get it to you if they can't and it's totally lost in cyberspace or wherever they've spaced it, then they will give you an allowance um, at the airport. But the allowance, let me tell you, you can barely buy a half an underpants. Okay, ask Dawson, I can call him. He hates Emirates Airlines. He went a whole holiday without bags. Okay, so please guys, just as a precaution, pack an extra pair of clothing just with you that you have it with you. Okay, cool. Do I have any questions? Very important, need to be, and I'll put it on the WhatsApp again, need to be at that hotel on the 9th at 8 o'clock in the morning. You need to bring your bag, your passport. Guys, you can leave your, your everything. You can leave. You must just have your passport. Okay, we can borrow clothes from somebody. We can borrow medication from, from a friend or a buddy or whatever but we can't borrow a passport. Okay, that's the first thing that you have to pack and make sure and double sure. We've had people where we're nearly halfway checked in, the last person, I don't have my passport, lives in Pretoria. We nearly need to go, fly. So it's just that negligence and the stress that they put the kid, you know, the parents under. Okay, don't do that. We don't want to leave anybody behind. Do you need your ID as well? Or no. Just your just passport. Just passport. Just the passport and then the documentations and stuff like that. Please go through it with you guys in your own time. I've spoken about a lot. If you guys do have questions, please just ask me. Um, you know, we can call you and stuff like that. So the most important, not just for you guys to listen to my pretty voice, is guys, we need to sign an indemnity form. You guys need to go through it and um, Sign it, read through it. It's basically everything that I've just said to you guys before, due to negligence and stuff like that, we can't hold the old responsible, that you guys are aware we are traveling in COVID, um, that I spoke to you guys about the extra insurance for COVID and all of those things. Okay, so you guys read it on your own. 
because I'm not going to read it up for you. Guys, with legal documents and stuff like that, you need to read it in your own perspective, perception, whereas I could change minds and stuff like that while I'm talking. All right. You need to make that choice and, and decision on your own. Okay. So we're going to dish that out and then we will be around. Are there any questions in group wise? So, you know, somebody might also think they want to know, but they don't and stuff like that. Anybody? Okay. So just to re reiterate, your pace is not my pace. I am fast. We are fast. So you guys need to know that when we're in transit, both ways, because when we fly with Ethiopian Airlines, we're going to Addis Ababa and then to Zanzibar. Okay, so it's not all direct flights. There aren't direct flights to these places. We're going to be in transit. Okay, so we rush to get off the plane. We don't need to get our bags and stuff. The airline will transport it from one aircraft to another. We just need to have our own baggage, you know, our backpacks and stuff like that. We rush, even though it could say two hours, okay? But we go to the gate so that we know where we have to be. When we are all settled and we know where we are and we've got an hour left or whatever, then you guys can go and wander around to a shop or to wherever. But we first need to get to the final destination, our gate, and then we relax from there. Okay, cool. Okay, if there's no... Yes, sir. Sorry, say again? Are you saying because you're on the same trip? Yes. Let's have it, let's move straight to Zanzibar. Because definitely Maldives, they don't take South African rats. Zanzibar, they might, but the rate of exchange is so much higher. It's just going to cost you more. Yeah. It's, it's going to cost, cost you, you more. more to use RAND if they do take it. Okay, so change the spending money from RAND to US dollars. US dollars. US dollars, eh? Okay, not ZIM dollars, US dollars. Okay. <laughs> Um, I've heard that buying souvenirs and so on is pretty cheap there. So, trying to figure out what would be the amount of money to take with. Yeah, it's a difficult um, one. They barter. <coughs> okay. So, when we are around and stuff like that and somebody comes to you, they, guys, guys, they have got walkers all over. Whether it be a private beach, whether we go into the forest, wherever. Okay, because it's a very, very poor country. Very poor. They rely on tourists. Okay, so when they come and say, Ooh, I've got a t-shirt for you. Nice, we bought one for, for Dawson that says nice Zanzibar and it's like a soccer look and everything like that. The guy started at $30, we ended up paying 10. So no thank you, I'm not interested. Okay, 25, no, I'm not interested. Okay, 20. No, not interested still. Okay, 10. Okay, thanks. Okay. So, you need to barter. You can ask them about negotiating skills and the Indian Yeah, you need to barter. But there again, um, I can't say it's cheap because it depends on what you are buying. Um, for definite, for sure, sure, guys, one thing you cannot bring with you that is free is if you walk along the beach and you pick up seashells. You cannot bring back seashells they will fine you or lock you in jail. Okay. It is their protected... It's like their gym. Gym type of thing. Even though it's free, it's their income. They make things of it. So if you do buy shells and stuff like that, don't buy it from a hawker. Buy it from somewhere where you can get a receipt for it. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Spending money is your own choice. As I said, you don't really need to take anything because all the food and everything is already included. Just, you know, consider that $25 that I said and anything over and above is for you guys. But don't go to the first thing and say, oh, I'm going to buy it. You guys have got a whole eight days in Maldives. We've got a whole six, seven days in Zanzibar. Don't see the first thing and buy it. Look, look, look. Okay, um, can't find it again, you go back to that safe place to buy it. Okay, so we will give you guys extra free time and stuff like that to do all of those things. Okay, cool. 
Any questions? Nothing.